Dr. E. Eze Kwesili, who spoke on impediment to education reforms, further stated that more than 10.5 million out-of-school children are bound in the country. She emphasized the need for legal state governments to focus more attention on making education affordable for the less privileged, especially special needs children. Everything that they have done in the governance of education, in the transparency of resources that go to education and accountability for its use, in making the teachers to lead the process, I mean, they're on the right path. The two-day Lagos State Education Summit dwelt on teaching and learning for improved outcomes. Technical sessions on curriculum development, assessment, and school infrastructure for 21st century featured at the event. Lagos State Governor Babatune Fashila told the gathering that the quest for a revamped education sector is achievable only when parents regain their confidence in public schools. We know a duty to provide equal, if not better, education in the public sector for those who do not have that choice. Seeing the lessons around us and possessing the capacity and willingness to learn and improve, this has been and will continue to be a direct spirit. The Education Summit elicits reactions from stakeholders. Now they do assessment for primary schools to GS1, so they are raising the standards. Teachers' welfare should be looking to, if those ones are done, and teaching environment as well, is where that we will get to where we are going. A communique is expected to be issued at the end of the two-day Lagos State Education Summit.